hello everyone welcome back to our channel so in this video I will be talking about the genomic in situ hybridization so this genomic in situ hybridization this is basically a cytogenetic technique that we use to identify and differentiate genomes in hybrid organisms or polyploid species and this actually allows researchers to visualize specific chromosomes or chromosomal regions that are originating from different parental species or genomes within a cell. Now what is the principle of this genomic in situ hybridization? So it works on the principle of hybridization where labeled DNA probes from one genome are basically hybridized to metaphase chromosomes of a hybrid or polyploid organism. And this method helps distinguish the chromosomes from different genomes by using differentially labeled probes. Now uh, what are the steps of this genomic in situ hybridization? So coming to the first step, first step is the chromosome preparation. So for chromosome preparation what actually we do, we basically collect the dividing cells uh, for example the root tips or other actively dividing cells are used. Then we use the, we, we arrest basically the cells in metaphase using a mitotic inhibitor for example the colchicine and then we fix and separate the chromosomes on slides after that fixing the chromosomes on slide what actually we do the second step is the probe preparation in case of the probe preparation what actually we do we extract the total genomic DNA from the parental species and then shear the DNA into small fragments through sometimes mechanical or enzymatic methods and then we label the DNA with fluorescent dye for example the biotin or directly we use the fluorophores for visualization. Then comes the third step in which the blocking we block the DNA so that we can improve specificity for that we add unlabeled blocking DNA from the other parental genome to suppress the non-specific binding. Then comes the denaturation. In case of the denaturation we denature the chromosomes on the slide and add the labeled DNA probes by heating for example up to 70 to 80 degrees Celsius in the presence of formamide. Then comes the hybridization. So we add the labeled DNA probes to the chromosome slide and allow hybridization at a suitable temperature for example 32 to 42 degrees Celsius overnight. Then comes the washing. In case of the washing we wash the slides to remove the non-specifically bound probes. So when the washing is done what we do we go for the detection. So if we are using indirectly labeled probes we add fluorophore uh, conjugated antibodies or evident to detect the probe signal. And then comes the counter staining. In case of that, we use DNA stain, for example, DAPI, to visualize all chromosomes under a fluorescence microscope. So after that, what actually we do? We do microscopic analysis. So we analyze the slides under a fluorescence microscope to distinguish chromosomes based on their hybridization signals. So this was all about this topic. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.